A former Secretary of Foreign Affairs and a respected diplomat weighed in, saying if the government's serious about having a Jakarta focus rather than a Geneva one in foreign policy, it must elevate Australia's relationship with Indonesia to the most important bilateral relationship it has, to be on par with the United States. I think it's a very long-term thing. I mean, the relationship with a complex neighbour like Indonesia <coughs> tends to have ups and downs as we've had in the past. Um, but it, it's a, an ongoing thing which I think we must, uh, whatever the government of the day is, should work on consistently. Now, I think, um, not spasmodically, but consistently. And uh, I think we need a sort of change in our national psychology, really. He says the country should have high-level, regular, formal and informal meetings on all aspects of the relationship and recognise for our northern neighbours, boats are a low priority. You know, you have to realise that Indonesia has uh, more than 100,000 refugees in camps and uh, it's, uh, for them, it's, um, the issue of boat people is, is not a, a big problem. I mean, for Indonesia, with all its other issues it's dealing with, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's less down the list of priorities than it is for us. The former diplomat says the Prime Minister and Deputy Prime Minister's recent trips to Indonesia have been well received in Jakarta and may well cancel out any lingering negative sentiments over the Immigration Minister's rhetoric. Well, I think the Indonesians certainly don't welcome that aspect of our relations. They uh, don't... Uh, have never really agreed with, even when Rudd was the Prime Minister, with the concept of turning back the boats, uh, or particularly towing back the boats, or anything the Indonesians would see as violating their sovereignty. Now, that they um, uh, do not welcome and will not welcome. Uh, I would have hoped that with the election behind us, that would uh, be in a sense recognised and softened, and. Maybe that will happen.